The Boeing 747, which is the queen of the skies, is being phased out by many passenger airlines across the world. Although it was revolutionary for its time, newer and smaller aircraft have lower operating costs than a four-engine double-decker aircraft. However, what will these airlines be replacing it with? Well, the most likely contender is considered to be the Boeing 777 series. Making its debut in 1995, the 777 200 was the perfect replacement to the 747. Although it was a slightly smaller aircraft, many airlines including British Airways, which is the primary operator of the 747 currently, welcomed it into their fleet. However, it was the 777-300ER variant that really sealed the deal for airlines. It could carry between 314 and 451 passengers over 8,500 miles. It's very efficient per seat mile flown and it has a solid performance record. For passengers, however, it's probably the most boring long-haul plane you can be on, as it's loud, old, and many haven't been refurbished. Yes, I'm pointing the finger at you, British Airways. Now, the 777X series is coming soon, and that will bring a larger, more efficient aircraft to the table. It can fly further than the 747 and the A380, and it will enter into service in 2020. However, it's competing with the A350-1000 aircraft, which we'll talk about in a bit. Now, the Boeing 787 is also a good replacement, although it carries a maximum of just 330 passengers, which is much less than the 747. Its superior fuel economy and operating costs means that airlines can operate the aircraft in high frequency, having multiple 787 flights instead of one 777 or the 747. Qantas did this, as well as KLM. The only issue is that at big airports like London Heathrow, where the 747 used to operate, landing and takeoff slots are very expensive. So it may be more cost effective to operate just one flight carrying more passengers than having multiple flights. Now, in my opinion, the best replacement would be the Airbus A350-1000. In a typical free class configuration, it can seat around 355 passengers compared to the 450 with the 747, which is similar to the 777-300ER. However, it's a much more modern and efficient aircraft and it's more comfortable for passengers too. And let me tell you, that is the case. It also would be the longest range commercial airliner, meaning that Qantas is eyeing it for the Australia to Europe routes. Delta has already replaced the 747s with the 900 variant, and Virgin Atlantic is expected to replace the 747s with the 1000. Now let me know what you think the 747 will be replaced with. Are there any other aircraft which could look as elegant as the Queen of the Skies? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.